Hello everyone and welcome to the next session on integers and it is subtraction of integers which this is the last topic of this chapter subtraction of integers till now we have talked about what is integers how do we compare integers and addition of integers so today we will learn how do we subtract two integers to take up that you can see here i have already drawn a number line for the convenience and now we start with subtraction of integers let's start subtraction of integers with positive numbers first because they are easy to deal with because we are already familiar with it so i have a number let's say 6 over here and i have to subtract 2 from that 6 so what am am i going to do i already know by subtraction definition that 6 minus 2 is 4 but let's go from the number line perspective that if i have to add something to a number i have to go on to the right hand side of that number and add that number to it and to subtract something from it i have to go on the left hand side of the number line and subtract that number so if i have to subtract Two from six. What I am supposed to do is, I am supposed to go two steps in the negative direction. So this is the step one. I reach at five, and this is step two. So I reach at four to subtract two from the six. So this was all about positive numbers. We have six, and we have subtract two from it, and we got four. So can I say that we have gone into which direction? Left hand side for subtraction. Okay, and we used to go if it is six plus two, it's eight. We used to go in the right hand side. Addition. so you are already familiar with these things now to subtract negative integers from a number let's take in an example let's say i have a number 6 and i want to subtract a negative 2 or minus 2 from 6 what am i supposed to do we are already aware for a subtraction what we have to do we have to go on the left hand side for the subtraction but there is a catch here and what is the catch here the catch here is let's see if i go into the negative direction okay so to subtract two i have to from uh, minus 2 from 6 i am going into this negative direction but by definition as it is negative 2 what i have to do is i have to do what i was doing as an additive inverse what i was doing for positive numbers so let's take one example before we actually compute what is what is this there is a number 6 if i want to add a negative 2 to it how am i going to to add negative 2 to, to it i'm going into the left hand side to add negative numbers i go into the left hand side so here to add negative 2 to 6 i'm going into the left hand side two times and i'm going getting the number 4 so i am going here in left hand side to add negative 2 to 6 this we already have studied now here you can see that whatever we are doing for addition whichever direction we go for addition the direction for subtraction is always the opposite now here for addition of negative 2 we have gone into the left hand side direction so to compute this 6 minus minus 2 that means to subtract minus 2 from the 6 what i have to do is i have to go into the opposite direction of what i do for the positive thing what i do for the addition so here what i do is i go into the right hand side and 
go ahead step two two times right hand side to get my value so if i do step two times here what will i get seven and then this will be the eight so i get here eight this is one way of understanding okay let me repeat this way before i go to the next way of understanding the subtraction of integers what i am trying to do is for adding negative 2 what i used to do is i go into the left hand side and left hand side by that numbers so if i have i had 6 i used to step 1 go to 5 and then 4 so i used to get 2 that means i am subtracting i am actually subtracting 2 of it if you see here 6 minus 2 is also 4 and 6 plus minus 2 is also equal to 4 so actually what i am doing is i am subtracting 2 or i am taking some our two values from 6 and i'm used i'm you know, i'm getting four out of it now in the same way if i have to subtract minus 2 what am i supposed to do is for addition of minus 2 i used to go into the left hand direction for subtraction of minus 2 i have to go into the right hand direction so actually what i'm doing is i'm trying to add something i'm adding minus i'm actually adding 2 to it so this gives me 8 Okay, let me let me ask you uh, to understand this other simple way. Let's say we have got six chocolates. Okay, let me say you have got six chocolates, and if I say that I am taking away two chocolates of yours, so you are left out with four chocolates only. But if I say that I am giving you two chocolates, I am actually adding to your chocolates, and you got eight chocolates. But when I say that I am giving you minus 2 chocolates. So when I say that I am giving you minus 2 chocolates, what exactly I mean? Though I am saying that I am giving you something, but as it is a negative quantity, I am actually taking from you. So if I say that I am giving you minus 2 chocolates, that actually means I am taking, taking away 2 chocolates from you. And that comes to the answer of 4. Same way, if I say that I am taking away minus 2, a negative 2 chocolates from you. So what am I exactly doing is, though I am saying that I am taking away minus 2 chocolates from you. But as it is already a negative number, what exactly I am doing is, I am giving you minus 2 chocolates. Oh, sorry, giving you 2 chocolates and that comes to 8. This can be understood in one more way. That... Additive inverse of minus 2 is what? Plus 2. So when I say that I am doing something like 6 minus 2 equal to, then exactly what I am doing is, I am actually taking additive inverse of 2. So additive inverse of 2 is 2 and that gives me 8. So this actually gives you the answer of addition. So in other words, if I want to tell, then negative numbers, if I add two positive numbers, I am always adding so if I add two positive numbers, I am always doing an addition And there is an increment in the positive value. If I add two po negative numbers, or sorry, if I uh, subtract one positive numbers from another, I'm doing a subtraction. I'm decreasing that quantity. Decreasing. If this is increasing. And this is decreasing that quantity. So, in other words, if I have having I adding one positive and one negative numbers, I'm actually doing a subtraction. I'm decreasing the final quantity. And if I have something like this, subtracting a positive, subtracting a negative number from a positive number, I'm actually increasing that quantity or I'm doing an addition on it. Okay. So this is all about subtraction. 
of integers and how do we tackle integers one more last thing if i have something like a negative number and if i want to subtract a negative number from it what do i really do as you can say that minus of minus 2 is like additive inverse of negative 2 which i can say as minus 6 plus 2 so this actually turns out, out to be a addition of one positive number and one negative number so this comes to a subtraction it gives me 4 and the sign of the subtraction would be that of the biggest number so here the biggest number is minus 6 so here the sign will come as negative we already have studied about this let me read one more example for this if i have a negative number 